So this question deals with the terminal speed of a skydiver, and we know that we can calculate the terminal speed of an object by using this equation right here. The terminal speed is equal to the square root of two times the gravitational force of the object divided by a drag coefficient, c, times the air density times the cross-sectional area of the object. Now, this question wants us to find a ratio of areas, so it's going to be useful to solve this equation for the area. So that's what we're going to do first. We've recopied the equation here. To solve for area, we would first need to square both sides of this equation so that the square root on the right side will cancel out. So now we have the terminal speed squared is equal to 2fg divided by c rho a. Again, we're trying to solve this equation for a, so perhaps the next thing we can do is to multiply both sides of the equation by the area a. And this is effective because then the areas would cancel out on the right-hand side, so now we have area times terminal speed squared equals 2fg divided by c times rho. And then finally, to finish solving for a, it would be useful to multiply both sides by 1 over the terminal speed squared. So this way the terminal speeds squared cancel on the left side. We have the area is equal to 2 times fg over c rho times terminal speed squared. Now the question wants the ratio of the cross-sectional area A in the slower position to that in the faster position. So basically it wants the area in the slower position divided by the area in the faster position. So for both of those areas we're going to plug in the expression that we just derived. So for example for the slower area you would have 2 fg divided by c rho and then we can say the slower velocity squared. It's actually a terminal velocity, but we're just going to use a subscript s to show that it's for the slower velocity. And then for the faster velocity, or I guess I should be saying faster speed, you would have 2fg divided by c rho, and then the faster terminal speed squared. So now we just have to clean up the right-hand side of this ratio. You'll notice it's a division of two fractions. So when you divide fractions, you can do a Thing called keep change flip and what that means is you can keep the first fraction the same so 2 fg over c rho v s squared then change this division to a multiplication and then flip the other fraction upside down so c rho terminal speed squared divided by 2 fg now if you look this look at this carefully, you'll see the two FGs will cancel out. You will see that the C values cancel out. They are actually the same. You might remember the question noted that the drag coefficient does not change from one position to the other. So those values would be the same. They can cancel. The density of air would presumably be the same. So once you clean this up, you have the ratio of the slower area or the, I should say the area at the slower speed to the area at the faster speed, equal to, we have the faster terminal velocity squared over the slower terminal velocity squared. You can even simplify this one more time on the right-hand side by writing that as the VF over VS and then the whole quantity squared. So now we're ready to plug in. We just need to plug in the terminal speed at the faster speed and then the terminal speed of the slower speed. Uh, the faster speed was 310, and the slower was 160. So again, the faster was 310 kilometers per hour, the slower was 160 kilometers per hour, and then this will all be squared. Obviously, the kilometers per hour unit cancels out, so you'll just do 310 divided by 160, and then that result squared, and you end up with 3.75 as the ratio of the area of the slower speed to the area at the faster speed. So this is the correct answer to the question.